Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Uh, I've got the yellow peril on, so it must be another unboxing, and it's another Breville. Now I promise you I've got no connection with Breville whatsoever, but I keep coming up with Breville products, and there's a reason behind this one as well. My little spice grinder that I use, and some spices don't work well in a mortar and pestle, gave up the ghost a month or so back, so I've been looking at different models, and this is the Breville Bar Vista. Let me show you what's special about this that made me choose it. As usual, it hasn't been opened. I have looked at it in the shops, but uh, haven't opened this one up yet. So let's cut the little seal on there, pop it open, see what we've got. Now there's the box, I'll, I'll just show you the, uh, the outside of the box. It's a Bar Vista coffee and spice grinder. I wouldn't use this for grinding coffee, guys. You know I have a, a, a Breville coffee grinder. You can look at, uh, I'll put a little link here to that. Um, but this one is purely for my spice grinding. It's wrapped up in plastic and there's some sort of tissue inside the box. We have a coffee and grinder instruction then for use. Well, I'll be looking at that later with great interest, no doubt. There's a little warranty package. Um, as usual, you've got these nifty little Breville plugs. I always mention them, but they are great. They've got a little pull ring on the back there. This one's for an Australian plug, but whatever country you're in, they'll always have this little puller on the back. Now here it is, guys. Now. We've got a few little bits on here and I'll, I'll investigate what these do. I really don't know what this is. It's got a, a, a 2, 4, 8 and 12 max dial on there. It's not what I bought the unit for. And then it's got a fine to coarse. And again, I'm really not sure what that does, but I'll show you why I got this model. A lot of the grinders have the lids on like this. They usually have just a little short lid about, about that size that sits on top of this unit. The wonderful thing about this grinder is the whole little pot here that you're grinding comes out and you can just rinse that through. It's all stainless steel. Now, if you've had a grinder in the past or you have a grinder now, you'll find that some spices, particularly cloves, the oil in cloves, will stain the pot and after a while it just becomes a little bit uh, ugly. So the fact this little unit comes out and can be washed is fantastic. It means this is the only thing that ever goes near water and not the unit itself. So that's a big plus. Now I've noticed on the inside of this, there is numbering uh, two, four, eight, and 12. That obviously corresponds with this little dial on the outside. And if you've got a full cup, you probably put it up to here and that will adjust the torque of the unit so that it's, it knows it's doing a, a much larger load. I don't know quite how that works, but I'll show you in a moment. Now I've just found another wonderful thing. I hadn't noticed it before. This is really great. Rebel come up with some fantastic little extras on their units. You see you've got a, a winder on the bottom there. You pull that out and then wind it back up. Okay, I'm just having a look here. They've got a 12 month replacement guarantee. Now that's great, but uh, come on Rebel, I think three year warranties nowadays uh, tend to be more common with these sort of appliances and I'd expect it to last at least that. So I plug the unit in. You can't start it without the disc in, without the uh, grinding unit in there. You can't start it with the grinding unit open, so you can't take your fingers off. And when you pop this little glass lid on, you've got to align this little knot here with the one on the outside of the pack. Okay, again, you've got to turn it. You have to turn it so this little dial locks it into place. And there, there she goes. Okay. Now there's something I noticed straight away, that a lot of my old grinders, you had to hold the button down. This has obviously got a timed unit on here. So if I press and... So as you would expect with any of these grinders, the, the coarseness and fineness really is only based on the length of time the grinder goes on for. So if I put it onto a coarse chop, grinds for about, oh, was that about 10 seconds? But this is the little piece that I love. This is the seller for me. The fact you can take that out and pour it straight into your ingredients or whatever else you're, you're using it for. Now, if you're doing roasted spices, if you're doing cumin or cardamom, a little mortar and pesto is fantastic. But when you come up to doing quills of cinnamon like this, this is where these things come into play. So let's give this a little test now. I'm gonna do one fresh quill of uh, cinnamon. Now, if you've never done fresh cinnamon before, I really urge you to get one of these and try it, because fresh cinnamon 
is so much different to uh, the powdered cinnamon. The flavors are so much stronger. We're just gonna break this one up into a couple of little pieces. Pop it into the grinder there. Pop it on. Now I want it on fine, so I'll turn the dial around to fine. You can see the, the quills of cinnamon are in there. Uh, I'm on a low cup setting. And we'll just press that and see how it goes. Okay, so that's the cinnamon. I've done a couple of little pulses on there. Oh, the smell is absolutely delicious. And there you have oh, fresh cinnamon powder. Guys, the smell coming off that is a thousand times the smell you'll get off of packet cinnamon. It's absolutely delicious. So this is going to get a lot of use in my kitchen. So there you have my Breville Bar Vista unboxing and a first look at this thing. Guys, so far, I'm loving it. It says spice grinder and coffee grinder. If you're interested in grinding coffee, I wouldn't go for this. It'll overheat the, the grains too much and you'll lose the flavor. Look at a, uh, a burr grinder. And as I said, there's a link uh, on my channel for an uh, unboxing of the burr grinder I use. So thanks again, guys. Stay in touch, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Be good.